Okay, in episode three here we're going to talk about the hot end, the extruder, effector, the Hayden Huntley magball arms, and kind of go over what makes them special and why you should use them. So, so first of all, this is the effector for the printer. Take off the uh, extruder here just for a moment. Um, so I, as I discussed before in my other printer, this is um, Duet Smart Effector Layout. And uh, I just modified this uh, for my own use. I am using a Fetus Dragon Hot End. The reason why I use these is because of the rigid mount. Um, I don't really like the E3D Groove Mount. So I made this effector for Fetus Dragon Hot Ends. So... You kind of unfortunately have to use that hot end for this effector or you can um, take the STL of this effector and just make your own uh, for a groove mount, but it works quite well. Um, you can see here I also have a direct drive set up. So there's a PTFE tube here, um, just a really short one here that will actually go into the Sherpa Mini extruder. You can see my ball ends here, stainless steel ball ends. There's six of them. And that's what the arms attach to magnetically. Uh, the fans here are 3010. So a 3010 uh, fan for the nozzle cooling or for the uh, hot end cooling. And then there's a part cooling fan, which is 3010. There's uh, provisions to put two on here. I'm just going to run one uh, for trials. You can see I've countersunk uh, these bolts here. These come with the hot end. They're two, M2.5. They come with the hot end, so I've used them here. So that's the Fector in a nutshell. It's pretty straightforward, very basic. Um, I just, I really like the rigid mount. You can easily change nozzles here. It makes life a lot easier, so. Next up is the direct drive extruder. This is the Sherpa Mini. This is made by Annex Engineering. I'll put a link below uh, so you can get to the GitHub. This is 3D printed. This is an LDO uh, pancake motor. Um, the Annex Engineering GitHub has the part number for this motor. So you can order the motor and then just print out the actual uh, Sherpa Mini shell here. This is just use all um, M3 hardware. And then for the actual guts, it uses a BMG dual gear kit. So you can find these dual gear kits on their own. Or you can also just buy like a Triangle Labs uh, BMG uh, direct drive extruder on AliExpress and just take the gears and bearings out. It, it has everything you need. It has the pin, both bearings, both gears, uh, spur gear, all that kind of stuff for this. So um, this is, I believe, the lightest direct drive extruder you can get. Uh, only weighs like a little over 100 grams. It's, it's very light due to this motor. You can't run a lot of current on this motor, about uh, 0.25 amps, I believe, is generally what I run, and it seems to work just fine. It has two mounting holes here. You can see where the PTF tube goes into there. So that's kind of what I've modeled on my hot end here, is basically you can just bolt it right up to here. Very simple, very easy, and we have a direct drive effector. So onto the actual arms themselves. So these are um, Hayden Huntley Magball arms. These are carbon fiber rods. And then there's um, N20 magnets on the, each end of these. They come with uh, the ball screws here. You can see I have a spare. This is the most important part of a Delta. Don't cheap out on arms. Um, this can basically ruin your print quality if you have really loose arms or really stiff arms. The benefit of magnet, magnetic arms is very little friction and they're very, very tight. There's no play in these. This kit for everything was like $100 Canadian, so it's not too bad. You can see um, he actually measures each individual arm here and puts on how many exact millimeters it is. These are 215 millimeter arms. So you can see he's wrote on every arm, there's an actual label on all of these. 
Very, very good attention to detail. Um, the 0.8 here, like the precision's not super important. Clipper will calculate this on its own. It will figure out how long your arms are when we do the calibration, but it's really nice to see that. So in our, in our um, Clipper config, we can actually just put in 215 and it'll actually figure out the rest from there. So, but yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this episode is just go over the extruder, hot end, the arms, um, in, in episode four, we're going to be ready to mount all this stuff up. I'll show you the belts and a little bit more wiring. All right, guys. Thanks again.